All right, so I got this in the mail yesterday. I bought it from AliExpress. I paid a little under $6 for it, but now I see that it costs a little under $10 on AliExpress. So yeah, I'll link it down below. Yeah, I mean, let's see what we got here. So this is the Game Box Plus. Support external gamepad, double against. What the hell does that mean? Uh, no clue. Digital da da da, LCD, pa pa pa, no clue what any of that means. So yeah, charger. It's the micro USB charger thingy. Yeah, I guess this is the out port, which is really cool for a little under $6. Yeah, so it runs on, wait, it runs on batteries? No, it runs on a Nokia battery. Thank God, okay, I thought I was gonna have to find batteries. It runs on a Nokia battery and it's light as shit. And I don't know, I don't know. I don't really like light plot products. I mean, it just feels too light. Like the battery, I don't know. The battery feels a little... Yeah, okay, the, the battery is lighter, but it's not that much lighter than the device itself. I mean, it just feels cheap. Mm. But I mean, the plastic isn't too bad. Like it feels like it's a little sturdy. Okay. Is there a sound switch? Thank God that was a little loud. So A, B, Y, X, the B is not centered. Or is it? Is it supposed to be like that? Look at that. B feels a little to the right, but that's no worries. Um, R? Well, that's like reset. Okay, so that's reset. Start? Uh-oh. Okay, thank God. I thought I just put it in Japanese. Gonna put it in. Gonna, 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 gonna. Okay, so you can't press A here, which is stupid. Look, <laughs> let's look at all the games, okay? Super Mario Bros. 3. That should be what I think it is, right? Oh! Okay, it actually is. No, it's not. Is it? Wait, does it have a SD card? No, it does not. So the, you can't add more game. Start here does not work. What? Oh yeah, because, okay, 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 okay. Well, let's try this. Let me just try to remember if this this is actually the original game. Yeah, okay, so frames are, frames are not like they're supposed to be. What is it called? Like the frames are, oh yeah, okay. I'm pretty garbage right now, I'm sorry. Okay, you know what? Let's just get done with this level. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a light here. So at night it should get a little annoying. The sound quality on this is just horrible. I don't know. Is there any input delay? Mm. I don't know. Nah, I don't, f I don't think there is. Or at least I don't really feel it. Let's just get done with this level and uh, see. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, okay, so this looks like the original game. But you know what? Let's look at... Uh, so every single time you have to select English or Japanese. Oh my god, let's take down the sound. This is getting a little annoying. Let's see. You know what? Super Mario Bros. Let's see if this is the original. Yes, it is. Cool. Okay, so that is the original. Cool. Let's see. Oh, let's see here. Do we know any other games? Yeah, I mean, this is not going to be original. Super Mario 6. You know what? Let's just launch it. 1992. Super Mario Bros. 6. This, this gives me like a little Soviet Russia vibe. I don't know. Yeah, why is there a bunny there? And why is there a castle in the middle? middle? Hi, I'm Shirley the Loon. I yeah, guess this is probably like fan made. Yeah, but this is like. 
Okay, this actually doesn't feel like a bad quality ripoff. This feels like a game that could actually like exist. I don't know. Yeah, okay, but here I feel the input delay. Like when I try to jump. Yeah, but that's the only thing. I don't know why it takes so long to jump. I mean, look, I mean, it, you probably can't see it, but... Yeah, okay, maybe maybe it's just me, but it, it... I mean, it's... I think he jumps pretty quickly, pretty instantly, but what's happening here is that he jumps slowly. He doesn't jump up fast, which is a little annoying. So, yeah. Yeah, but that's just what happens with these rip-off. Wait, is that... Sh Snow Bros. Okay, I I, sh I thought that would uh, say show bios, which was a little weird. I would have pressed on that instantly. Super Mario 9, Super Mario 10, Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong Jr. Let's just go through everything here. Five days. I mean, I don't know any of these games. Goalkeeper, that could be known. Man in Red Mario Bros. This is probably not going to be original because we already had Super Mario Bros. Pac-Man. That's probably going to be original, I'm guessing. Surface. TNT. Hopefully you can see this. You know what? Let's zoom in a little more. Can I just zoom in here? Let's see, what do we have here? Door, door, eggs. I don't know almost any of these games. But hey, it's definitely value for money. Mario Bros. Why Mario Bros again? Yeah, so the, I'm guessing these are just repeating themselves. Pac-Man again. Pinball. Are they just repeating themselves now? TNT again? F1 race. Ga yeah, I already saw the galaxy things. Mario Bros again? Robot again? Are we gonna see Pac-Man again? Please, TNT again? Yeah, I mean, what the hell is this? So if you wanna play game number... Like 250, you have to do this for a while, I guess. To just get to the game. But yeah, I mean, okay. So, I mean, no Pokemon games, of course. IPS screen is better than the Game Boy. You know what? I'm gonna say this. If you just want to play like some Mario games, or to just give something to your kid. Oh, it actually has a film on the screen here. If you just want to give something to your kid for like $10, it's not a bad deal. But I don't get why there's uh, four buttons. Bow. I do not get why there's four buttons because you can only play with two of them. Th these are Game Boy games. They are not SNES games. They are not anything else. Let's look at this. The console is slim, portable, and uh, trendy. 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 Um. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's slim and lightweight like... Uh, low quality item but okay yeah i mean it's pretty slim i'll give it that it's not uncomfortable to hold but i'll say this i forgot to mention it the buttons are pretty hard to like um press in it takes a little power and i trust me i work out a lot and i'm pretty strong but if you're a kid like it can be a little annoying after a while because you have to press like pretty hard like, I don't know. Like, my thumbs already notice it a little bit. Like, they start getting that muscle 
whatever that's called in English, like that feeling um, that the muscle is like starting to, yeah, I mean, feel a little tired, I guess. Is that the word for it? Oh, it can be opened. You know what? Want to open this up? Let's open this up. I think we're going to open this up. Let me just get my iFixit toolkit and uh, yeah, I'll open this up. All right, look, I'll tell you this. There's not going to be much in here, but hopefully there's going to be an SD card, which I doubt really because there's probably not going to be. But it would be cool if there was like an SD card in here, like one gigabyte or something. I could like replace it and put in my own games, which are not three good games and garbage. So hopefully there's actually be something in here. I mean, basically, I bought this thing not to actually play it. I actually have consoles, but to basically just make a video on it and I don't know, like resell or something. See if see if someone like some parent wants to buy something really cheap for their kid. And I can like sell this for like ten dollars and just, you know, get rid of it, I guess. Oh, actually, this reminds me a little of the original Game Boy. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I really can say because, I mean, the speaker is there. It's like the Game Boy Pocket or whatever, but at the same time, it's just nothing like the <laughs> Game Boy uh, Pocket. They, they reuse the same wheel, though, which is interesting. And that is the inside. Oh, detachable screen. That's cool. I'll give them uh, credit for that. How do you open this, though? Like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, here we have the buttons. The membranes are really solid. But I don't I don't feel like that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean there's not much in here. Pretty easy to access the inside. Um yeah, power switch. That's does, do these get hot? No, they don't. Like one of these is storage. I'm guessing it's like Yeah, I have no clue. I have no clue. I'm guessing this is like the processor or something. Oh, I might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this can't be too old. I actually thought for a second this might be old. Uh, like old technology, but just still getting sold. Like from the Russian times or whatever. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's not. Because, I mean, it has an IPS screen, first of all. Um, second of all, it, uh, wait, let me just get this in here. Second of all, oh, second of all, it has a micro USB, USB port, but I mean, it does have a Nokia 3310, I think it's called battery, which is really weird. Let's just put this back in. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Put that in there. Okay, now the speaker is a little, a little hard to deal with. Okay, the wires on the speaker might break if I do this too much. It, it's like that kind of uh, plastic, I guess. The power switch is... A little interesting, I should say, because, I mean, it it's garbage, basically. Like, who, like, wait, let me just put this back together and I'll show you what I mean. Let's look at the screen for a second. Did there get any dust under here? No. No, all good. You know what, let's just test it. Make sure, but like, look at the power switch. It does not look like a power switch. And it's pretty hard to turn on too. Yeah. Snow Bros. You know what? Let's go into Snow Bros real quick. What the hell was that? Yeah, okay. That's going to be a wrap. I don't know what else to say about this thing. I don't really want to connect it to like my TV. But I'm guessing it would work, okay? I'm guessing if you bought it. I mean, it does come with the cables and everything. So I'm guessing it would work. The battery, I'm guessing too, is like... It lasts probably for like 20 hours or something. Like a lot of time. Oh wait, no, you can't uh, lower the brightness. Okay, 
So that could be like a deal breaker, but it has a Nokia the 3310 battery, okay? So it probably lasts for like forever without needing to be charged. But the, wait, now I'm actually wondering, is it possible to lower the screen brightness? You know what, let's, let's test that. Let's test that. I was about to like wrap up the video, but you know what, let's test that. I need to make like scripts because I feel like so, so many people have already like um, pressed off the video because they thought I was gonna end it. But I don't know, I, f I feel like I can't really make scripts for these things because I don't really know what's going on. Mm, audio, video connection, audio L, RD, what? So it doesn't have, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Troubleshooting, no picture on the, da, 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 okay. No power, picture is blinking or distorted. Be sure to take a 10 to 15 minutes break at least every hour while playing. You can't play on this thing more than one hour. I'll tell you that because it's boring as shit. There's three games, okay? There's three games. Uh, do not play if you are tired or need sleep, okay? Always play in a well-lit room, why? Why, is it because it's so the screen is so bright. Is there like any way to take down the brightness? No. Okay. No. No. I mean, yeah. Okay. That's going to be a wrap. Thank us for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.